hello all of you welcome to my channel uh, this is a second tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to study to insert the data into a created table in the previous tutorial number one we had already created uh, a table we had already uh, learned how to create a database and now we are going to insert the data into created table of the database now in order to do that we must know that insert into statement is used to insert the new records in the table the insert into statement gives us two types of syntax through which we will insert the data entries into the column and the first one is the column names are not specified that is we need not specify the name of the columns while insertion takes place that is insert into is the keyword the name of the table in which we want to insert the value the values which we want to insert and the order of the columns of the table should be as it is and the definition of the defined table if we do not provide any order uh, of the column that means by default we are picking the order in which the table has been defined the second way is that we need to specify that the column names are so and so and we are inserting so and so values into that particular table so let's get started guys let's go to sql server 2012 and in the previous tutorial we had already created a table named football which had three columns serial number player name and total wealth this is the one this is the table which we had created and now we are going to insert into table name the table name was football values now first of all I am using the first method in which we need not specify the column order therefore by rule we have to first specify the serial number which is let's say one the player name let's say it is Wayne Rooney and the total wealth earned is 112 US dollars now put a semicolon select the query select the query and go to this button execute button click on it we see that one row has been affected let's check whether the data has been inserted by using select command select start from table name table name is football select the query and execute that is the data which we had tried to insert using insert insert command insert into command is one Wayne Rooney and one to twelve thousand one to twelve hundred one to twelve hundred now let's insert some more values into the table change the serial number to two let the second player be Messi let the earning be Mm, 212 and the name of the third player is at index serial number 3 and let the name be Ronaldo Ronaldo let the earning be a bit more uh, in case and let us try to execute the query parallelly just highlight the queries and click on execute we see that one row and one row has been executed let's select star we see that three records have been inserted into that particular table now this is the first way 
this is the way in which we have not specified the column names the another way is that insert into the another way was insert into table and we need to specify column names insert into football the first column name is serial number comma player underscore name comma total wealth now let's change uh, the name to four and uh, give any other name cristiano or zidane as for change the data to force in order to distinguish select the query and execute it we see that by this method also one row has been affected and we execute it we see that zidan has been added to the particular table now the the thing with this tab with this technique is that we need not specify all the all the columns for example let us say that i want to i want to insert only the name of the player and the serial number and i'm not knowing the total wealth as of now so i just need to write five and let's say chris chiano chris chiano and I don't know what is his earning so I just need to specify the column name that is serial number and 5 will be inserted into that and the player name that is Cristiano and I don't need to mention the third column that is total wealth this is the benefit this is the thing and execute it we see that the query got executed it selects star from football we see that in the fifth column automatically null got inserted where we did not specify it. now this is the benefit this is the thing with uh, which is of more use uh, than the first query in the earlier query this was not possible let's say this was possible but in this query you can jumble the order also let's try it let's give it another shot um, let's say I want to insert player name first and serial number afterwards you just need to manipulate accordingly just write line Lionel has already been inserted okay let's give some another name and the serial number as let's say six now we have jumbled the sequence in this particular query select it and execute it we see that one row got affected and the same has been reflected in the contents of the table thank you so much for watching this video guys like and subscribe my channel for more thank you